Russia was now the man who could have taken the weapons called the samurai to use against them. My name is Francis Fuster. I'm the Xi'an. Xi'an means, um, Xi'an is the person that has other black belts that teach for him. That means that I've been practicing for over, since 1972. And um, I have schools in Sierra Leone, in Liberia, in Nigeria, and in Ghana. So I travel and I visit schools. That, that has uh, elevated me. And I'm a sixth dan black belt in Shodokan Karate. In, 1970, in 1969, I traveled to Nigeria from Ghana. I, I'm a musician. That, during that time, they had the Nigerian Civil War, Biafra, Nigeria. So when I got there, it was a very dangerous time. And because I'm a musician, I was out at night all the time. So one night, I was playing at the end of the concert. There was a big fight. And the fight included all the musicians. And one guy came out of the fight and said to me, stand behind me. So I stood behind him and he helped me out and I got out of the, the hall. When, when I got out, he said, my name is Ibrahim Da Silva. I'm from Brazil. Uh, I'm a fifth down black belt in Shodoka. He said, you need to learn to practice. I like your music, so I come and see your concert every day. So I followed this guy. He took me in his car and he took me home. And since that day in 1972, that guy taught me karate for three years until I left Nigeria in 1975. And before I left, I was a black belt already. And um, I was able to contain and teach other people. And we started a school called Shanguja Martial Arts Academy. And that school has been existing since 1973. So it's a very old school, yeah. First of all, I took it up for self-defense because of what was happening around me. But as I learned about it, the, the more I practiced, the more I realized that there was more to it than just the self-defense. It had a lot of spiritual aspect, and uh, it made me, it, it helped me think, I, I read more about it. I realized that it was a way of life. And for me it became, so I, had, I, I now had two hobbies, karate and music. And they became equal partners in my life. And they've stayed that way ever since. Um, the, the spiritual part of karate is even stronger. Um, karate is not about fighting yeah. all the time. It's not about self-defense, but it's about that. But mainly it's about your character. It's character, it's character building. Um, yeah. And it helps you to focus on what you're doing. It teaches you how to be fair. It teaches you how to be, how to be on the right side, not on the wrong side. If you ever use karate in your life, you must use it because you are sure that what you're doing is correct. If it's not correct, you cannot use karate. Um, all of these things motivated me to learn more and more and more, and I got better and better and better over the years. I'm now 74 years old, and uh, I've been practicing since I was in my th late 20s. And uh, for me, if I, if I didn't practice a day, I, I get sick. Karate has impacted my life in every possible way you can think of. Uh, when I'm sick, I revert to it. When I'm depressed, I revert to it. When I have problems at home, I go to it. When I'm broke, I practice. When I have huge problems, I practice. When everything is down and out for me, I practice. It lifts me up. For me, karate is like, um, um, it's like the, the motivation I need to come back from down to up. And without it, I'm sure I'll be lost. Karate is developing in Ghana. Thank God for that. It's taken a long time to get to where it is now. Um, the present administration is doing very well. Um, um, because it's, it's, such a, uh, it's not a very popular sport like football, it, the funding for it is very, 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 very mediocre. Um, I, I don't think we get funding from the government at all. Um, the, the, the present president, um, his name is Melvin Brown. Um, he's, he's doing very well. In fact, in fact, he, 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 he gets funding from everywhere but the government. I think it's about it's time that the, the, the sports council and the sports ministry take a good look at karate and put money because it's an individual sport. 
It can bring great medals to karate. When karate started in this country, in 1976, we formed the first um, federation here. And by myself, I sent teams to Nigeria, I sent teams to Togo, to, to um, Abidjan, I sent teams to Dakar. I brought gold medals, and it's this gold medals that we used to go to the then Ministry of Sports, and, and it was first recognized when we opened the first federation. And since that time, it's been down and up, but now it's, it's getting stronger and stronger. And I hope that the ministry and the, uh, whoever, whoever the people that are concerned with sports should take a good look at karate again and please pick it up. And the, the Japanese embassy has been doing very well with it. Um, they've been interested. We've had the, the Japanese um, day every year where there has been tournaments and stuff. And, uh, and now we are, they've been sending people out to, to different countries. And now that the, 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 the next Olympic Games is in Japan, and karate has also been accepted as an as a Olympic sport. So for the first time, it will be going to the Olympics. I hope that they will put money into it so that we can send a small team, whatever small, so we can be represented this time at the Olympic Games for the first time. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's rewarding in so many ways. Um, the youth, in, the youth in, in, in Ghana are picking it up. For education, is, is, is the best form of physical education you, you, you can imagine, you can think of. I think every school should have a karate class going in their school. Because karate is one thing, when you learn karate, politically, it makes you think right. It makes you vote right. It makes you ask questions. Um, um, the rewards of karate are enormous in that for health purposes, it's rewarding. For our female students, for the female popul population in, in, in Ghana, they need karate. Because, so they can go out at night and don't be afraid. Um, and, and the more uh, karate is taught, the better it will enhance uh, the equality in, with the youth, with, 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 our, with our women, with our girls in school. I think, uh, I think karate is the thing that is the most in Ghana. We must, we must develop it to the highest possible level. Karate is the, if you're not disciplined, you cannot do it. Because your body and your mind and your spirit must go together. Otherwise, you cannot develop in it. There, there are some bad karate. Some people learn a little bit and they go to the streets and they want to fight and try it. That is not karate. That is something else. True karate is, 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 is devoted to the, to the nation. It's devoted to family and friends only. So it's a thing that I think the whole country should pick up. And I think the more people that get into it, the better. You know, I don't know if you saw the last dem the last demonstration that, that happened when uh, Ghana was 61. I don't know if you saw that, but that was just a small part. And you saw the young lady that that, that did a little demonstration. I think karate is something we need in Ghana, and it's, it's the highest possible discipline. It helps in schools, it helps at work, it helps in hospitals, it helps when you're sick. It uh, we need it, we need it. And as for me, as you can see, my life is with karate in my home. I practice it. I, I take it out. I, I, I'm a member of the, I, I'm the executive council of the, of the present um, administration. <laughs>